What's going on, nature freaks? What's up? Dave and Jeremy back with another Saturday slap in the face. That's right, and today we're gonna to be searching for a very unique species of lizard. But not this one, because this lizard doesn't have legs. That's right, today we're gonna to be searching for the western legless lizard, also known as the western glass lizard. Let's get it! Nature in your face! All right, nature freaks, finally got on our target species. Jeremy is holding a western legless lizard, also known as a glass lizard. I was walking through the grass, we found it, we grabbed it, here he is. Yeah, now it is missing a little bit of its tail, but we did not do this, it's dried up, and that's where it gets the name the glass lizard, because actually, let me find it, right here yeah. is where the body ends. So from here to here, that is the body. Yeah, Dave so, is holding the massive tail right there. So two-thirds of the length of this lizard is tail. And it would probably go about another inch, maybe two inches longer if it didn't have that little nub. And when they feel threatened, they typically will break their tail off. Um, so I don't know if something grabbed it on the end of the tail there and broke it off, it got away, and then whatever predator was trying to get it got a small meal, maybe a bird or whatnot. All right, and that's why I'm supporting the tail and he's holding the head. But that's their defense mechanism is to drop that tail and when it come, disconnects from the body, it starts to flip around uh, and it distracts that would-be predator. Now, if you guys are wondering why this isn't a snake, <laughs> well, first of all, snakes do not have eyelids. These guys can blink. Another thing, we'll try to show you this with the B-roll. They have an external ear opening. So snakes what? do not have that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have an external ear. Yeah, now what's cool, if you guys want to learn a fancy word, um, being able to disconnect a tail there is called autotomy, and that just means to be separated from basically the body. Um, so they are autonomous, and they break that limb up, which is pretty crazy that you could just drop a limb. I mean, what if we could do this as people? <laughs> right. You know, someone's getting raw, you know, you're, <laughs> hey, like, ah, your arm falls off. <laughs> But then the person would have to eat the arm, so I don't know that that would work. Well, but what's cool is <laughs> we, we don't regenerate our limbs. This guy would eventually regenerate the tail, so that's pretty awesome. Also, speaking of the body, very stiff. Snakes are more mm -hmm. rubbery, right? These guys are very rigid, and they don't move exactly like snakes as well. If you put this thing on, I don't know. Like a flat surface. Like asphalt, yeah. It, it would not be able to, to move quickly like a snake, so. Definitely big differences, even though visually, you really can't tell just by looking at them. You know, what's funny is you just gave me a visual. Um, if you guys don't know this, I grew up in Florida, and we would always find these on our back patio. Different species. And, and my mom, yeah, the Eastern, and my mom would come out, you know, scream, snake! <laughs> and then I'd go out there and you'd see this thing like, freaking out, trying to get off the <laughs> patio. And it's like, it's not a snake. It doesn't even move like a snake. And there it was, it was a legless lizard. <laughs> well, this was pretty cool, guys, because uh, these are not easy to find, and uh, it's like, like I said earlier, this is one of the first warm days of the year. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of hit or miss, but to find our target sp species, that was pretty, pretty sweet. Yeah, and the way they tunnel through the grass, it's like if we put this down, it disappears in seconds, just, whoosh, and it's actually hard to find again. Mm -hmm. And then you know what makes it worse is all these cactus. <laughs> yeah, there's cacti out everywhere. We're probably kneeling them right now, and there's ticks. It's like tick season, but whatever. I mean, that's what happens when you hike. That's why you wear bug spray. <laughs> well, I right. hope you guys thought this was super cool. Um, you want to bring it a little closer? Look at that. Look at the little lizard. These are uh, fascinating, fascinating animals. Um, when people think of lizards, one of the key elements is legs. <laughs> right. You know, and then here's one that just defies that all together. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed our Saturday slap in the face. If you guys did, make sure you subscribe to the channel, comment, like the video, and we'll see you guys on the next episode of Nature in Your Face.